Well, if you have RP, the chances are you probably have a flutter valve or two around, and they can be very helpful when you cannot get stuff from here out here. <laughs> this is one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why. Because when I combine it with my favorite nebulizer mouthpiece, you can simply add it to the front on those days when you're really having trouble moving fluids out of your airways. I don't have my nebulizer on, but you get the idea. It works really good. This is uh, the name. Um, can't really tell you where I got it. Most of mine have come from various hospitals that I have been in over the last 10 years. Um, they can be very expensive when you go to buy them online. Um, I've seen them anywhere from uh, $60 to to $150, so, um, but they can be very helpful. Uh, money aside, here's a neat little trick I'd like to show you, and that's why I'm really posting this video. These mouthpieces are uh, from a company called Sprint. They're the only ones that are designed for reuse more than just a few days. A lot of people don't realize that, um, that most of the time, uh, mouthpieces really start to degrade and I'm not really sure you know on that level what what that does to you if that's really really bad for you if it's just because they start to get porous and and hold more germs and harder to clean I'm not really sure why but this one here uh, they come with a little sticker you put on there that's when I'm supposed to replace it I don't know if you can read that that's uh, um, January so I just got this one they're about 15 bucks a piece on Amazon. My uh, Medicare will allow me to get one every six months um, from my uh, pharmacy provider. Uh, I, I don't even bother with the other kind no more for a lot of reasons, not just because I can reuse this and keep washing it. Um, it seems to have a little more back pressure than, than a normal mouthpiece, which has none really seems to put the medicine out as you can see look at that um, this is just a home pump I, I really don't get this kind of this kind of kick out of anything else I've tried and I've tried them all believe me I have tried them all uh, so anyway here you don't have a flutter valve I don't have one with you stuff's not coming up these are designed they got a little flap right here see that little flap that's so when you suck in, the flap sucks closed and you're getting all medicine. Um, it's a sealed system pretty much. Um, so here's the neat little trick. The other, the other part of the seal is this cap. And it's got a little membrane in here too that when you, uh, when you, when you suck, it allows air to come through. It's that way to help bring that medicine into you. And when you blow, it closes so that it's not all just trying to blow back into the system. Um, so here's what I do. Uh, um, I'll just demonstrate videos worth a thousand of my awkward words. That's the exhale. That's the inhale. The slower you can do it and the longer you can do it, the better it's going to work. But you can almost feel it working stuff around back there. And that's the beauty of it. It really almost works better than a flutter valve. Um, one more time on the inhale. See the exhale? Um, I've done several treatments today, so I don't really have anything to bring up and show you. Lucky you. <laughs> It's a pretty gross thing, as if you're like me, you understand that. I, I prefer to be somewhat alone. <laughs> I make a lot of noise, a lot of grossness. <laughs> um, fill a lot of waste baskets with the pieces of Kleenex that I've spit up in. Um, I don't know if everybody has as much airway trouble as I do with RP. I know some have it worse. I have one stent 
on the left side of my bronchial uh, um, tree there uh, to hold it open. And I feel like that I don't very often, I'm not very often able to expel mucus from that side. You know, some would question, can you really tell which side it's in your body? Well, you know, my pulmonologist thinks probably I've become sensitive to it. Most stuff seems to come up on my right. And I'll tell you, I use that sometimes when I'm not too bad off, but I've got a lot of congestion in there and stuff. I will try to lay down at somewhat of an angle, but on my right side, because I feel like it pushes that stuff back to the, you know, maybe to the right, or right side of that bronchial tree, and then I can get it up. That side's pretty damaged in me, um, but it's still natural. Still has the philium hairs um, that can help me move stuff out. That's how I feel that it works best for me. Um, you know, everyone has to kind of know their own body.